Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is the Groovy script, how, why we use the Groovy script uh, in the SOAP UI. Okay, so SOAP UI will provide a features where we can add a Groovy script as a steps. Okay, so just right click and uh, you will get here one uh, op option, Groovy script. Okay, so what is the use of this, why we use, let me uh, explain. So suppose that in our like uh, uh, in SOAP UI, mostly uh, you can see uh, you uh, can uh, uh, create a request. You can automate your test cases without writing the code. You can create the to suit. You can add the test cases. OK, and you can then send request and verify the response. But there are some uh, sometimes we also require to write some code. OK, like a example. Uh, we want to uh, we have one request where there is some fields value which we want to dynamic okay means that value we need to every time change like uh, email id or some dynamic values okay so if we are not sending uh, changing the value so this will give us the error this user is already exist or this id is already exist this type of messages in our apis right so in that case we need to make that dynamic okay and so in that case every time new value uh, request will go with the new value so uh, so soap ui will give some like a groovy scripting concept where we can write our own code okay and then update the request at runtime so uh, these type of code we can write in a groovy script also like suppose that we need to write the read the and write the text from the files maybe csv file excel files okay txt file so in that case we SOPI will not provide feature directly we need to write some logic some code by using the groovy script programming language and then we can handle this situation so if you if you will add the groovy scripts uh, steps you will get one uh, like uh, six panels right uh, on the screen where you can write your code in a Groovy script format. Now in this example, I am going to show you how we change the value of a property at a runtime. Okay, so here we can we have one property like ID and its value I have added here this one. Okay, this property I have parameterized in our request in JSON file. This one. So if you don't know, are you uh, what is the properties? How we uh, use the properties in our test cases in our uh, request? Then you can go with my previous uh, uh, video. You watch there. Okay. Okay. So now I am going to show how we uh, like uh, add the update the properties value using the group script. Okay. So group script will provide a variable that is the context. You can see also here on the top uh, logs context test runner. Okay, so using the context variable, we can get the current test case object. So this is the test case. Okay, we can now call the context dot test case. This will give us the current test case object. Now next, we, if you want to generate the dynamic value, some numeric value, so we can use the date timestamp, okay? So for that, we need to create a date variable like this, okay? Then using the date function, we can call get, using the date variable, this object, we can call the get time. So this will return us a latest date and timestamp. latest date okay and uh, i can print this on a console just use the log dot info okay and get value so if i run this value we will get the dynamic number okay now this dynamic numbers every time this will getting change okay so what i need to do i need to pass this number 
in our property value like okay so how we do that so we have a test case object okay so we need to call the test case dot set property value method okay this will accept two things one is the property name like id and second is the second is the value so our value is latest date so okay so this is the integer type latest date give us the value long type okay now that's why i am getting here the error why because we set property we can set the key as a uh, string data type and this value is also a string data type so let me type cast this into a string Okay, so now uh, if I run this, okay, so this is property now you can see this is running okay so if i run this if you can see here this value is automatically updating run this group when groovy script code will execute then this will automatically update the properties value now you can see in log info you can see value and let's check here so both are same and uh, if I run this request, this will retrieve the value from the property and send to the request. Now you can see here, same ID we will get here. Now next, if you want to run the complete test, so every time this will, first Groovy script will execute, this will update the property value, then pets ID will execute, okay? So in every each and every execution, we are getting new value in the request. Okay, so thanks for watching the video.